day two, off to Elk Pass. A pretty good climb, I think 545 meters is what I read. Oh, my goodness, yeah, good, yeah. As predicted, partly cloudy. We'll certainly take it. No smoke right now. Well, just added a bit of wood in the fire. Wait for it to light some stuff up. My companions, uh, here last night, they just left. They're heading off to, gonna try and day hike Dormer Pass. Yeah, it's nice hanging out with them. They're good guys. I enjoyed it for sure. It's nice to have some company. Well, it's a really nice treat having a fire. I'm generally too lazy to make one myself. I don't bother. And these guys had a leftover one, so I just fed some food, some wood, and really nice. I mean, I was out of bed at like five after eight, so I have time to hang out a little bit. Enjoy it. Time to leave this very nice site. It's great to see a site like this. Like it's great to see that it's pretty much an easy 15 kilometers to get here. And then it's a great site because this is a good staging point for two or three different backpacks, right? Ah, my companions from last night are staying here another evening after they day hike Dormer Pass and uh, yeah I gotta go back across this bridge get back to the Elk Pass intersection to start here's the old bridge from when there was a road it's funny too how things move right obviously when this thing was built in the 30s that's where the creek ran not anymore there we go you really just got across the bridge and you're there so here's the official way to Elk Pass. According to Don Beer's book, there's a bunch of confusing stuff down here as far as trails and I already found a weird one over there that's, uh, I suspect is used from the warden cabin. It talks about a horse camp too. On the map, there's a horse camp showing, but it's on the other side of the river, which is one of the big things I gotta do this morning is cross the river. Anyway, let's go see what's going on. So, I'm playing around a little bit this morning already. Down there, I found a trail heading this way. I'm kind of curious to find this horse camp. So I followed it and it kind of came along here, a little closer to that creek, and it just pops out here. So it's just an alternate trail. Maybe at some point the trail was rerouted. Anyway. <laughs> What can I say? All you have to say is like horse camp and, you know, I like finding the old stuff, especially, uh, yeah. So anyway, there's one little side trail explored. I'll get back to my bag and keep going. I would have done this yesterday. I would have come out for a little night nice stroll. But, you know, those guys were at the camp and nice to chat with other backpackers. I honestly don't get to do it very often. Usually places I stay, there's no one there. And these guys have uh, had a lot of experience. You know, they've, a couple of them did the South Boundary Trail earlier this year. I mean, not often I run into experienced guys like that I can chit chat with, so. That was all right. I mean, they're on, they were on day eight yesterday, so. That's a lot. All right, here's another little off trail. This one's showing the hiker. Keep going up this guy for now. Once I get to where there's a crossing, I might wander around a little, little bit more in here, but also I'm gonna be back at that campground again in the future. So if I really wanna come wander around here again in the future, it's there. So it's not like I have to explore everything right now. Well, you know what, it's pretty well signed. And there even seems to be another one over here saying that this is the hiker way, so. Yeah, way down there. Thinking the hiker way might actually be the dumb way right now. 
because the hiker trail might be left over from the days when there was a bridge. When there are bridges, they choose a narrow area so that they have to make less bridge. And then it can be a terrible crossing spot, right? So I know there's no bridge now. So actually going to the horse one, which is usually a lot more spread out, would be a better crossing. But we'll see what the hiker one looks like and then uh, figure things out from there. Well, off the trail, I checked it out from my right. Looked over, I could see some cut pieces. All right, that one there. And it's a bridge over nothing. Isn't that funny? So this would have been a bridge over the original creek. So just over here, that's my bag. I'm gonna go and I don't know if I should cross or just sort of dance around it, but who knows how sturdy it is. That's funny, you know? Again, these creeks, they move around, you know? This one, I can't even hear it from here. It's over there somewhere. But, got yourself a bridge. All right, let's see if we can do this. Not so easy to do. I need at least one hand free. Pretty sturdy bridge, it's still here. Okay, yeah, this part feels pretty good still, you know? It's not wobbling around too much. Cha-cha-cha. That feels okay. Yeah, obviously this is already broken. This has been a while. I mean, you got willows growing across it now. Okay. And then this. All done on the construction, boys. Like, this is, who knows when this creek moved. Okay, this is very nice. I'm not, I have no worries at all, this will break. Man, what year is that? That's too bad I can't see any. Well done, well done. Well, Don Beers wasn't kidding. So the trail, Kind of came out over here into this kind of a beaten down track coming into this. And you join up with some other old trail. Like there's trails all over the place. All right, so now we're going over here. I'm definitely gonna have to explore this like best I can next time I'm around, next time I'm hanging out at that campground. Okay, here's where I popped out. Look here, there's an obvious trail. And then you look over there and there's a park sign. So there's a few things going on over here. This whole area is kind of like the hell is happening type thing. <laughs> it's just, just... The trail, the river looks very, you know, easy to cross doesn't look threatening at all so that's nice to see this is the cascade river right now normally this is a tough one to cross but hey you just gotta wait for low water season right i feel like i see a bridge down there too i need to put my pack down and just walk around you know there's just stuff around here I see a horse camp over here. And then there's a fence down there. I think that fence is uh, new fencing for the bison, right? For that old buffalo project. But I like basically see whole elaborate, I think I see an outhouse even on this thing. So it's an outfitter camp. Outfitters will bring a whole bunch of clients out here who paid good money to ride horses so they come stay out here and then they will build styling camps that are just for them or not something you can just book right yeah like look at this it's all made 
Well, it's not metal. It's actually green wood. They painted it. They got cable. They got cable hanging all over the place. There's a corral. Oh, and look at this old stove. They must have helicoptered this thing, and it must... It looks like it weighs above, you know, two tons. Huh. They even left a knife there for me. And this looks like a classic stove. Yeah. Wow. This is... <laughs> it did not hold back. I wonder if it's been used like this year or anything. I hope so. I hope those guys are up and running again after COVID. This is awesome. Even that big sign, outhouse. Oh, another one, outhouse. Two of them. Tents. This is pretty badass. I walked down the trail that said tents. These guys are not playing. They are not playing at all. I think they bring a canvas or some kind of tarping and then they just put it over top of metal. This is impressive. It's taken some time to set something like this up. They even have platforms. Sheesh. Okay, for the bison or for the horses, I think these poles are, they just string a whole bunch of wire across them and that effectively corrals them. This is a, another big impressive corral over here. This is about the most, so far, definitely the most impressive outfitter camp I've seen. And there's a trail going up someplace there. Huh. <laughs> I'll definitely have to come back. What do we got here? Warning, this is an equine facility. Uh, da -da 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 okay, okay. Banff Trail Riders. Okay, well now I know who this belongs to. Stony Creek. Sheesh, man, I had no idea stuff like this existed out here. They have just set themselves up. How many horses can they put in here even? Man. Well, how's that for a bear hang? Seems to work. Nothing slashed it open yet. But the box itself looks like it's kind of bursting at the seams. <laughs> Here's the part I don't like. When they're done with stuff, just into the bush and leave it. Leave it and let, uh, you know, time take care of it. And here we got more of these. I think this is to make sure the bison don't come and mess with the horses or the campers. Yeah. All right, left the camp back over there. My bag is back over here. I've walked down here now. I don't know what trail would have popped you out here, but I understand this now. So here you got the hiker sign, right? So this crossing down there is too much. Here is where the creek joins. So then you break up the water a little bit, right? And then right there, it also, uh, it doesn't have a decent job of spreading out. So this is a great option if you were down there and it was just too much come down here see what that offers up right okay all right it came higher than i thought surprise surprise it actually came up to my knees but uh not bad i think i'm gonna wander around a little bit in here not much now i'm on this side of the river this stuff i want to explore are they not planning to come back here? Someone put a big H here, which probably means horse crossing, right? Well, no surprises. I walked down there to where the uh, hiker crossing was, and surprise, there's a trail that keeps going. 
I think this might be hikers who can't cross the Cascade River. And so, you know, this is all pretty beat down. So they just start following this. Like there's nothing official about this trail. So they just start hiking up Cascade until they find a good place to cross or until it just gets low enough that finally they can. Anyway, <laughs> the usual, I find trails that and I don't have time to go check out. For all I know, this trail goes 10 kilometers down the Cascade till it finally gets nice and low, right? A little bit curious. I'm back to the horse crossing now. There's the obvious trail. It's kind of a trail looking like here. And if you step up just a bit, there is a trail going up there. Old trail, maybe? I don't know. But this one here, it would come to a creek right away unless it swings right in a big hurry. So I guess we'll see what happens. I definitely got to get started on this hike. I can't just keep <laughs> all I've done is piss around for a while, you know. It's another old crossing site, but it just drops off a cliff. It's pretty obvious why now down there you cross. There's even a little old flag and like Old trail work done, right? Anyhow. All right, now turning away from the Cascade River. I can already hear the creek over here just sounding off. Very nice so far. You get to climb along this creek for a while. A little bit of climbing, but nothing too major. I love seeing that. When you see sawdust like that, it is most likely from this year. So either the Banff Trail Riders or the park staff, whoever, they have been up clearing this trail. So nice to see. Got ourselves a camera or a counter? That's a camera. Hey, gotta wave hello. Pretty in here, you know. This spot particularly, you can see rocks on both sides. There was an intentional forest fire up here at some point. I don't know how they managed to stop it from hitting the trail, but they did. Got my map out. I thought that horse camp was on the other side of the river, but I was wrong. It actually shows right there. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I'm working my way up this way. Yeah, kind of neat. Trail is kind of rocky, kind of rooty. A bit of a climb, but nothing major. This is the first time I've seen it really kind of open up into the I don't know if this is still a forest fire area or not, but not bad, you know? Look at that. Now there's an awesome side hike. Just come from Stony Creek, come up here a ways, and then up you go. That'd be, oh yeah, that'd be really cool. That'd be a wonderful day hike. Oh yeah, starting to get a few views here too. That one annoying tree though. <laughs> It's like 40 feet higher than all the rest, getting in the way, but hey, you know. I got this for a bit. This is cool. Not bad. Looks like very shortly I'm going to go and cross this thing. Don Beer says on a bridge. Probably not. We'll see. And then I'll start heading up that way. Turn around, look behind you. Not bad at all. Here's the one I was looking at before. That's also a really neat looking peak. Cool, I'm enjoying this. No way. Is there really a bridge? How cool is that? 
Is this the same bridge, you think, that is mentioned in Don Beer's 1996 book? It looks old. What a cool bridge. Oh, you can smell the creosote. They used old railroad ties or something. What do we got here? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the year. That's just marked on the log. Why doesn't Banff National Park put years on? Jasper does. A little bit of bragging by the trail, flying trail crew. Why the hell not, right? I mean, they built it. Bunch of old pieces, probably from some old bridge. Cool. I love it. There was a bridge after all. I want to get a picture from this side. You can see it's like tilting over and everything. From the bridge, I feel like I've climbed into a new world a little bit. Now you can see this peak. It heads over there. Be a cool uh, ridge walk up there. Now I see a whole bunch of new stuff. Cool. I wonder how far you could just keep following that creek if you wanted. Mind you, it doesn't look like a very fun basin over there, just a whole lot of trees, but yeah. Very cool. I like to call this the horse stairmaster. This is what happens when you have these guys on here a lot. You got all these bumps. So gotta just bump, 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 bump. But hey, they, obviously they keep the trail clear, take care of it, so we'll not complain. Random horseshoe hanging off a tree. Right now I'm doing a bunch of climbing. Well, after I climbed that other bridge ever since it's just been forced. Hopefully I'll get some kind of opening here soon. And see something. Well, since I left the creek, this is the only view I've had. So this is where I take a break. I'm definitely on a, a hillside above, I think a different creek than the one that crossed down there. Can't complain about the trail. Got nothing to complain about. Well, it's the first thing I've seen in a little while. And check it out. I didn't even notice. But this rain cloud came in over me and is starting to piss. Look over here. My goodness. I was just stepping around this. I thought it was just some corduroy. But actually, it's an old walkway. This thing is... Must be older than sin. I mean, most of the wood is gone. See the nails? Kind of cool. Oh, yeah. This bridge is a whole lot newer than that walkway was, that's for sure. All right. Well, it was mostly just threatening to rain. It was pissing drops on me a little bit, but nothing really serious or anything that strutted up. Another one, that was quick. All right. Yeah. I put my phone away for this, I need two hands. Check it out. It's an old bridge. See all the nails sticking up over there? I always like spotting old bridges. Once I got past those creeks, then this trail just turned uphill. I think I said yesterday that it was 545 meters of elevation. Today I read 475. And for a little while there, it wasn't bad. It was even flat in some places, but... Here we go, starting to get closer to the pass now, obviously. Finally, I'm starting to arrive at the 
like the sprawling meadows of the pass. Phew. It's been about four and a half kilometers since I crossed that one really cool bridge. Basically all just through the forest, a bunch of climbing, so our word is coming. Well, a bit of a meadow to start with, and another old bridge made out of creosote. This thing will last a bajillion years. Even when it collapses, it's still gonna last a long time. <laughs> nice. First time in quite a while. I believe this is Mount Brewster. And just from looking at my app, I saw that I was actually on the other side of that last year, the Sawback, Coxcomb campground just on the other side of that. Kind of cool. Well, life is pretty good now. Just walking along this very nice meadow. It's uh, flat, a little bit of climb at best. And my campground is in like 800 meters. So, yeah. Find me a little pay. <laughs> Not a whole lot of views, the only mountains I can see. But uh, hey man, you get to the top of pass, that is always nice. Especially when you can walk through it for a little ways like this. Decided to come take a bit of a break in here, why not? It's beautiful, the sun's out, the rain cloud went right away just as fast as it showed up. It's over there now. Definitely get the sense that the, the horses or whatever, once upon a time, they just came traipsing right through here. Before uh, the trail was cut over this thing, anyway. There's a few different tracks, that's for sure. All right, starting to look like a pass, baby. Brewster. Pretty obvious when I go from my little day hike up to Elk Lake, it's in here someplace. I can't wait. Another few hundred meters apparently, and I'm at the campground. Now, about this direction. This is Cascade Mountain. He's part of it anyway, it's like a range more, more or less. Canadian Rockies Trail, Trail Guide even mentions these open slopes as like kind of a nice little day hike. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Just got three days for this though, so up to the lake and then tomorrow out. Here we go. Well, there's the lake trail. And here's the campground. Sweet. Well, only five spots, eh? Gotta climb your ass up here, but nice. Not bad, you know. Phew. There, I got some hot water in that bad boy. I'm just gonna leave it in there to cook. While that's going on, I'm gonna go and set myself up. It's only like 3.30, but I don't feel like doing the Elk Lake hike without some supper in me, so I'm gonna do that. Got some supper in me. <clears throat> I'm really starting to like the ones with mushrooms, so. If they have mushrooms in, and that's, that seems to be like three quarters of the stuff I buy. Okay, got food in me. Got everything tucked away in here. Got my tent set up. Got my day bag, got my bear spray, got my Garmin in reach. Oh, you know what I forgot? I need some, bring some water just in case. I grabbed a a fruit bar and forgot water. There, now I'm set. 
go to Elk Lake before the weather decides to turn on me. Well, the sign says 2.6 kilometers, and Don Beer's book says 2.6 kilometers, and the Canadian Rockies Trail Guide says 2 kilometers. So, you know what? Let's go with the Canadian Rockies Trail Guide. <laughs> it's usually fairly accurate with distance. Let's hope this cloud does not decide to come mess with me. Hopefully it goes any other direction, but here. Well, the first 20 meters was ingrown with willows, but after that, it's the trail's in good shape. Very nice. Get that funny feeling that this little trail leads back to the campground instead of going back to the meadow and then hiking back to the campground up again. Definitely try it on the way back. I almost got the feeling this is like a road. Like cut out of the side and look how wide it is. And it's, yeah. It really is. A culvert. <laughs> okay, now it really feels like a road. Banff National Park, you know, I've been spoiled with wonderful trails. So far, this backpack, I have no reason to believe that my last day is going to be any different. My Miet River backpack, I think I had like 10 kilometers, not even, you know, uh, where it was kind of rocky and stuff, but the trail was nice. And all the rest of it was just, <laughs> oh yeah. So I almost forgot what this is like. Oh, you climb, 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 climb in one direction, then you come around a curve. And straight in front of you, there's definitely an opening in the trees. Maybe it was a cut line that they used as the trail. Now you go up here, it looks like you're, looks like I'm basically at the top of something. After that, I'll just be uh, descend to the lake. Yeah, a little trail up here. Let's go see. Let's see if there's a view. Uh, the trees have, trees have taken it. It's too bad. Okay. Basically throw that theory out. Still looks like a road. Once upon a time, someone made a road to Elk Lake. Not the slightest clue why. But sure makes a great trail now. That's for damn sure. Plenty of descent coming down to the lake. I think it's basically on the same level as uh, the campground. Neat little turn in here. But it's already looking pretty epic. There's quite the head wall there. Quite the wall of rock. All right, looks like I got it. Oak Lake. Uh, no fishing. Yeah, I imagine. Presence of Whirling Disease in Banff National Park, yeah. Sweet, looks like I can wander around in here a bunch. Oh, look at the shores. This is pretty sick. Oh, I saw that jumpy jump. A little bit of a beaten down path you can walk along. When you can walk around a lake and really take it in. That's the good stuff. I mean, walk up to the edge of a lake you can't actually go anywhere you just sit there in that one spot don't tend to hang out a whole long time you can walk around though and just kind of see it from all angles that is that is pretty sweet this is looking pretty 
managed to make it through the squishy part without too much water to getting into my shoes. Found the outlet. That's tiny right now. And there's a bit of something going in the trees, so hell, I'm gonna keep going as long as there's something there. It's a pretty rough beat up part of the trail, but obviously it ain't no secret. <laughs> I had to figure I'd find something. Even if it's 56 years old, there's no recent evidence of fire use, but yeah. Gotta admit, it's hard to beat the view. This ball is so huge. Try to take a picture of it, I can't even get it in the shot. I can barely get any piece of the lake in it if I take the wall too. It's ridiculous. Well, you can sort of see the sign over there where I first popped out. When I first started walking, I was didn't think I'd be circumventing this lake, but you know what? That was a real shot. Over here, I just got to cross some rocks. But after that, looks okay. Got to get around these trees, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Beautiful green right here. Ugh. And another beat up trail through the trees. I'm not surprised at all. Maybe one time there was an official trail that went around this thing. There you go. If you were a little more ambitious than me, you could probably just scramble up this and get up top of this thing. Kind of neat how these little outstretchers were made. So you can see perfectly the track of the rock slide exactly how far it went there's moss on it now so that was obviously a long time ago but there's the perfect bottom of the lake you know mud sand and there's the rocks over there same thing you see the rock right around it like that right kind of neat this is a pretty delightful little stroll now and now that i got past all the the forest part I can just chill, just walk along this. So, it just leaves you in awe. It does. Just don't know what you'll find. We got this island, and there's a man made bridge of rocks to get to it. Is that cool or what? Who the heck did that? That would have taken a lot of work. I have never seen that before. Alrighty, nice and easy. Even in September, I still need this bridge of rocks. I mean, I could go across yeah, like I got to my knees wet, but who wants to do that? Alrighty. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my God. And a bivy. I don't even know what these are called. I've seen enough of them. But, you know, a big circle of rocks and that helps keep the wind down. Climbers do this usually, right? But usually it's up on top of like God knows where. I wonder how old this is. So I'm sure climbers wanted to do the, the circuit of Brewster, right? Probably try to get all the way around the ridge. All the way there, all the way back down. Wouldn't that be crazy? That'd be awesome. That thing there looks like it would be yeah. 
So cool. As always, you don't know what you'll find. Oh, sublime, sublime, sublime. Oh, back here, I've completely circumvented this thing. What a delightful little walk. The only part that would uh, maybe stop you is a soggy section, but yeah, you can walk around most of it even. Wouldn't be that hard to just walk up to it and turn around and walk back. It's really easy, really nice. All right, nothing to do with head back. All righty, might as well try this trail out. I don't think it's going to be anything mind-blowing. Just goes into the back end of the, uh, the campground. Oh, yeah. If I did actually see this one, I was kind of hunting them all down, but this one seemed like just a bunch of work. This is uh, number three. The water source of the campground a little weak in this time of year, right? This is kind of a higher one. This is across from site number two. There's a lower one down there, which is not as easy to get fresh stuff out of. You kind of got to work to make sure there's no swirlies, but it does get pretty clear. So, you know, not too, too bad. I'm out of practice. That took an embarrassingly long time. Still not a very nice fire. Well, nice to have a fire. I don't do that very often. Not a bad day. That was probably... Don Beers says that was 475 meters. That's about the easiest, nicest 475 meter climb I can ask for. Like, not bad. You know, not bad at all. Trail was in good shape. Elk Lake is just beautiful you know wonderful lake to walk around and everything so pretty cool man not a bad day well i just got a little bit over 11 kilometers to get out of here and then i gotta catch some shuttles back to the car good night